Anyone who has handled coins in the United States in recent years has most likely noticed a wide variety of designs on the 25 cent pieces or quarters. The quarter dollar coin has been in use with various designs since 1796. It was between 1932 and 1998 that the design of the quarter included a portrait of George Washington on the obverse side and a bald eagle, the national bird, on the reverse side. The eagle perched on a bundle of arrows with olive branches below. In 1997, Congress issued the United States Commemorative Coin Program Act, which was signed into law by then-President Bill Clinton on December 1, 1997, which established the 50-state quarter program. Beginning in 1999, the long-familiar eagle design was replaced with a design emblematic of each of the 50 states. Five coins were issued each year between 1999 and 2008, or one every 10 weeks. The coins were issued in the order that the states ratified the Constitution. George Washington's portrait on the obverse side was also slightly redesigned. The United States of America scrolls above his head, while the words quarter dollar are displayed beneath. The word liberty appears to the left of Washington, and the national motto of In God We Trust, adopted in 1956, appears to the right. The mint mark for each coin appears below this, an S for the San Francisco Mint, a D for the Denver Mint, and a P for the Philadelphia Mint. The great majority of coins in circulation are from the Denver and Philadelphia Mints, while coins from the San Francisco Mint are mostly proof coins produced for collectors. The reverse side central design is different for each quarter, but always displays the state's name across the top with the year that the state ratified the Constitution directly below that. The Latin phrase of e pluribus unum, in use since 1776, appears at the bottom, which translates to, out of many one. Above this is the year that the coin was minted. The first coin in the series, Delaware's Quarter, features Caesar Rodney on horseback with the captions, Caesar Rodney and the First State, one of the state's nicknames. Caesar Rodney was an American lawyer, politician, and military officer who served with the Delaware militia during the French and Indian War and the American Revolution. He was a representative of Delaware for the Continental Congress during the Revolution. To break a deadlock on the vote to declare independence, Rodney rode through a thunderstorm on the night of July 1, 1776. He arrived in Philadelphia on July 2nd when voting took place on declaring independence. His arrival allowed the vote to pass and Rodney went on to sign the Declaration of Independence. Later in the war, he served as Delaware's president between 1778 and 1781. Pennsylvania's quarter features a commonwealth statue with an outline of the state behind her. The state's motto of virtue, liberty, and independence adopted in 1778 appears to the right, while a keystone appears to the left. The commonwealth statue is a gilded statue created in 1905 that stands atop the dome of the Pennsylvania State Capitol building in Harrisburg. The keystone is a reference to the state's nickname, the Keystone State. A keystone is a wedge-shaped stone piece at the apex of a masonry vault or arch that allows the arch to bear weight, hence the name Keystone. The name Keystone was associated with Pennsylvania, as the state was at the center of the original 13 colonies that declared independence and home to the nation's first capital of Philadelphia. New Jersey's quarter features an image based off of the famous 1851 painting titled Washington Crossing the Delaware. The painting is an idealized representation of General George Washington crossing the Delaware River on the night of December 25, 1776 during the American Revolution. The crossing was the first action in a decisive surprise attack against Hessian forces at Trenton that became one of the turning points of the Revolutionary War. George Washington stands near the front of the boat, while James Monroe holds the flag behind him. Monroe was only a young soldier at the time, but would later serve as president. The caption, Crossroads of the Revolution, refers to the key crossings that American and British forces made across the Delaware River between New Jersey and Pennsylvania during the course of the war. Georgia's quarter features a peach fruit in the center of an outline of the state. The peach is a state fruit and has long been associated with Georgia as it grows in abundance there. Sprigs of the live oak, the state tree, flank the outline of Georgia, while the state's motto of wisdom, justice, moderation is written across a banner. An apparent mistake in the outline of the state has left out Dade County, which is located in the extreme northwestern portion of the state. Connecticut's quarter features a charter oak, an unusually large white oak tree that grew in Hartford from around the 12th or 13th centuries 
until it fell in a storm in 1856. Tradition tells that Connecticut's Royal Charter of 1662 was hidden within the hollow of the tree to prevent its confiscation in 1687 by the English Governor General Sir Edmund Andros. This was when King James II consolidated several colonies into the short-lived Dominion of New England in an attempt to take closer control of them. After the tree fell in 1856, wood from it was used to create the desk of the Governor of Connecticut, as well as the chairs for the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the President of the Senate. These pieces of furniture are still at the State Capitol building in Hartford. Massachusetts Quarter features an outline of the state with the Concord Militiamen of 1775 statue that was erected in 1875. The statue commemorates the militiamen who responded to stand against British forces in the first battles of the American Revolution at Lexington and Concord on April 19, 1775. The caption of the Bay State appears to the right. Maryland's Quarter features the dome of the Maryland State House in Annapolis. The building dates to 1772 and is the oldest state capitol building in continuous legislative use. The dome is the largest wooden dome in the United States constructed without nails. Clusters of the white oak, the state tree, flank the dome on the quarter. The caption of the old line state is one of Maryland's nicknames. It may have originated during the Revolutionary War, referring to the Maryland line of troops. South Carolina's quarter features a state bird of the Carolina wren, the state flower of the yellow jessamine, the state tree of the cabbage palmetto, and the state's outline. The state's nickname of the palmetto state appears as a caption. The palmetto is a common tree along the South Atlantic coast. The palmetto's spongy bark helped to absorb the impact of British cannonballs when American forces under William Moultrie defended a fort constructed of palmetto logs on Sullivan's Island in 1776. New Hampshire's quarter features the Old Man of the Mountain, a great face of stone that used to protrude from granite cliffs of the White Mountains that was first recorded in 1805. The rock formation collapsed in May 2003, less than three years after the quarter's release. The quarter also features nine stars to the left, a reference to New Hampshire being the ninth state to ratify the Constitution. The state's motto of live free or die appears as a caption. The phrase was first used by a Revolutionary War veteran in 1809 and recalls the assertive independence of the United States. Virginia's quarter features three English ships of sail from the early 17th century, the Susan Constant, the Godspeed, and the Discovery. It was these ships that transported the settlers of Jamestown to Virginia in 1607 when the first permanent English colony was established in what is now the United States. The captions of Jamestown 1607 to 2007 and Quadricentennial speaks to this history and the 400th anniversary of Jamestown's founding. New York's quarter features one of America's most iconic symbols, the Statue of Liberty, in front of a map of the state. The 11 stars are a reference to New York being the 11th state to ratify the Constitution. The caption, Gateway to Freedom, recalls New York City's history as an arrival point for millions of immigrants, especially at Ellis Island in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated in 1886 and was a gift from the people of France. The statue was often one of the first sights that European immigrants saw upon their arrival by ship across the Atlantic. The map of New York featured on the quarter displays the Hudson River, a key waterway throughout the state's history, and the Erie Canal, built in the early 19th century. North Carolina's quarter features the Wright Brothers' Wright Flyer in Kitty Hawk mid-flight on December 17, 1903. This was the first successful heavier-than-air powered aircraft. The text reads, First Flight. Rhode Island's quarter features the 1903 America's Cup racing yacht Reliance on Narragansett Bay. Pell Bridge and Newport Bridge, opened in 1969, appears in the background. The nickname of the Ocean State appears above. Vermont's quarter features a man collecting sap from maple trees while Camel's Hump Mountain, part of the Green Mountain Range, with its distinctive profile appears in the background. The caption reads, Freedom and Unity, the state's motto. Kentucky's quarter features a thoroughbred racehorse, a reference to the state's connection to horse racing. The Federal Hill Mansion appears in the background, a former plantation built in 1795. The mansion serves as inspiration for the song, My Old Kentucky Home, in 1852. Tennessee's quarter features a collection of musical instruments and a banner that reads Musical Heritage. Ohio's quarter features an outline of the state and the Wright Flyer, the same aircraft that appears on North Carolina's quarter. The Wright brothers were born in Dayton, Ohio. An astronaut also appears, a reference to the fact that Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon, was a native of Ohio. The caption reads Birthplace of Aviation Pioneers. Louisiana's quarter features a map of the United States with the 1803 Louisiana Purchase outlined. A trumpet with musical notes is a reference to Louisiana's musical heritage, especially jazz music. 
the state bird of a brown pelican also sits beside the map. Indiana's quarter features an IndyCar in front of a map of the state, a reference to IndyCar auto racing in the Indianapolis 500. 19 stars signify the fact that Indiana was the 19th state to ratify the Constitution. The state's motto of Crossroads of America also appears to the right. Mississippi's quarter features two magnolia blossoms, the state's flower, with the associated nickname, the Magnolia State. Illinois' quarter features a young Abraham Lincoln, a native of Illinois, in front of an outline of the state. The state's nickname of Land of Lincoln appears to the left, and the caption of 21st State Century appears to the right. A farm scene in a part of the skyline of Chicago can also be seen. Alabama's quarter features a seated Helen Keller, the first deaf and blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree and a native of Alabama. Her name appears in standard text and in braille. A longleaf pine branch, a state tree, and magnolia blossoms are seen off to the sides. A banner with the text Spirit of Courage appears below. Maine's quarter features the early 19th century Pemaquid Point Lighthouse and the schooner Victoria Chimes, built in the year 1900. Missouri's quarter features the Gateway Arch of St. Louis, which was built in 1935. The arch is the world's tallest at 630 feet and a monument to westward expansion. The return of Lewis and Clark in a canoe being rowed by the slave named York is shown as they come down the Missouri River. The Lewis and Clark expedition is also recalled in the caption of Corpse of the Discovery and the dates of 1804 and 2004, representing the 200th anniversary of the expedition. Arkansas's quarter features a diamond, a state gem, rice stalks, and a mallard flying above a lake. Arkansas was the only diamond-bearing state in the country before more recent discoveries in Colorado and Montana. Michigan's quarter features an outline of the state along with an outline of all five of the Great Lakes. Florida's quarter features a Spanish galleon, representing the state's early history as a Spanish colony, cabbage palmettos, the state tree, and a space shuttle, a reference to the many NASA missions launched from Cape Canaveral. The caption reads, Gateway to Discovery. Texas's quarter features an outline of the state with a single star, ropes form a border recalling cowboys and ranching. The Lone Star State was once a country of its own, the Texas Republic, between 1836 and 1846. Iowa's quarter features a schoolhouse with the teacher and students planting a tree in the caption of Foundation and Education. The name of Grant Wood, the famous American painter, appears below. Wisconsin's quarter features the head of a cattle, a round of cheese, and an ear of maize, symbols of the state's dairy and agricultural industries. A banner with the state motto of Forward is shown below. California's quarter features John Murr, the American naturalist who was an early advocate of preserving wilderness areas in the United States. Murr is shown exploring Yosemite Valley with Yosemite National Park's half dome in the background and a California condor soaring above. Minnesota this quarter features the state bird of the common loon, swimming in a lake as people are seen fishing in the background. Minnesota is known for its many lakes and the state's nickname of Land of 10,000 Lakes appears on a map of the state to the left. Oregon's quarter features a scene at Crater Lake National Park, the fifth oldest national park in the United States. The park includes the caldera of Crater Lake, a remnant of a destroyed volcano, and the surrounding forests. Kansas's quarter features an American bison, the state mammal that historically populated the Great Plains in huge numbers before being brought to near extinction in the late 19th century. Sunflowers, a state flower, appear to the left of the bison. West Virginia's quarter features a new River Gorge Bridge opened in 1977. The 1,700 feet long arch spans the gorge in the Appalachian Mountains. Nevada's quarter features wild Mustang horses with mountains and a rising sun in the background. Sagebrush, the state flower, appears to the sides. The banner holds the state's nickname of the Silver State. Nebraska's quarter features Chimney Rock, a famous landmark that was used by settlers traveling west, represented by the covered wagon. Colorado's quarter features Long's Peak and the Rocky Mountains and the state slogan of Colorful Colorado. North Dakota's quarter features American bison in the badlands of the state. South Dakota's quarter features Mount Rushmore, a huge sculpture carved into granite in the Black Hills in 1925. It serves as a national memorial to George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln, four of the country's most influential presidents. The state bird, a ring-necked pheasant, flies above and wheat appears to the sides. While South Dakota has the second highest proportion of Native Americans of any state, the quarter features three items related to European settlement. Mount Rushmore, which was carved into the sacred black hills of Lakota, a pheasant, which is an exotic species originally from Asia and introduced to North America in 1881, and wheat, which has replaced tens of thousands of square miles of native grasslands. Montana's quarter features an American bison skull with mountains and the Missouri River in the background. 
The state's slogan of Big Sky Country is written to the right. Washington's quarter features a leaping salmon in front of Mount Rainier, the tallest mountain in the state. The state nickname of the Evergreen State is also featured, a reference to the lush temperate rainforests of the Pacific Coast. Idaho's quarter features a peregrine falcon, adopted as a state raptor in 2004. A map of the state is shown with a star, indicating the location of the state capital of Boise. The state motto, Esto Perpetua, which is Latin for let it be eternal, is written above the map. Wyoming's quarter features a bucking horse and a rider, and the state's nickname of the Equality State, a reference to the fact that Wyoming was the first territory and state to allow women the right to vote. Utah's quarter features the Golden Spike, the final spike driven to join the rails of the first transcontinental railroad across the United States, joining the Atlantic and Pacific Coast in 1869. The railway with locomotives on each side is shown below. Oklahoma's quarter features a scissor-tailed flycatcher, the state bird, and Indian blankets, the state wildflower. New Mexico's quarter features a map of the state with the Native American Zia Sun symbol that also features in the state's flag. The caption includes the state's nickname of the Land of Enchantment. Arizona's quarter features a Grand Canyon, the largest canyon in the world. A saguaro cactus, an iconic species endemic to the Sonoran Desert, is also featured. A banner with the state's nickname of the Grand Canyon State separates the two scenes, as the Grand Canyon is located at the northern portion of the state, while saguaros only grow in the southern desert portion of the state. Alaska's quarter features a grizzly bear with a salmon in its mouth. The salmon is extremely important to Alaska's ecology, economy, and native peoples. The North Star, a symbol of Alaska, is also included. The caption of the Great Land appears to the right, a reference to the fact that Alaska is by far the country's largest state. This map shows just how big Alaska is compared to the rest of the continental United States. Hawaii's quarter features a map of the state with the state's motto in Hawaiian below that translates to, the life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. The famous Honolulu statue of King Kamehameha I, the first king of Hawaii, appears to the right with an outstretched arm. Hawaii's quarter is the first U.S. coin produced for circulation that has featured royalty or a monarch of any kind. After the conclusion of the 50 state quarters in 2008, six additional new quarters were issued the following year in 2009 for the Federal District of Columbia and the five territories of Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Northern Mariana Islands. Washington, D.C.'s quarter features Duke Ellington seated at a grand piano. Ellington was a composer, pianist, and band leader of jazz orchestras. The caption reads, Justice for All. Puerto Rico's quarter features a sentry box of the historic Castillo San Felipe del Moro, a Spanish fortress built in San Juan in 1539. A hibiscus flower appears to the right, and the caption reads, Isla del Encanto, Spanish for Island of Enchantment. Guam's quarter features a map of the island, a native seagoing vessel, and a latte stone, an ancient pillar used for the base of homes. The caption translates to Guam, land of the Chamorro. American Samoa's quarter features an ava bowl, a whisk, and a staff, all symbols of the native peoples. The ava bowl is used to make special ceremonial drink for island chiefs and guests during important events, and the ava ceremony is one of the most significant traditional events in Samoan culture. The whisk and staff symbolize the rank of the Samoan orator at these gatherings. A coconut tree appears on the shore in the background. The motto of American Samoa is featured as a caption and translates to Samoa, God is first. The U.S. Virgin Islands quarter features an outline of the three major islands, a yellow banana quit, the territory's official bird, a yellow elder, the official flower, and a tire palm tree. The official motto of the territory of United in Pride and Hope also appears to the right. The Northern Mariana Islands quarter features images of the island's many natural resources. An ancient limestone latte stone stands on the shore while a seafaring canoe of the indigenous Carolinians appears at sea. Two white fairy turn birds fly overhead. A Carolinian moire, or head lay, makes up the bottom border. After the conclusion of the state and territorial quarters in 2009, the America the Beautiful quarters began to be minted in 2010. This program features five new quarters each year until the year 2021. Each quarter will depict a national park or national site, one from each state, the federal district, and each territory. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. You can also like my Facebook page for updates there. Leave a comment below with any feedback, additional information you may like to share, or suggestions for future videos you would like to see. You can check out another video on the four American states that were once independent countries right here. Thanks for watching.